Hi everyone, it's Lori and welcome to my channel. I hope you are all doing well today. So today we are actually going to do uh, Roxy's Weekly Challenge and this is week 23 and I'm sorry, excuse me, week 24 and she actually did mark making. Um, she did it in a book actually uh, and then you could just hear from the book. So I have picked out two books here. I'm not sure which one we're going to use. Um, but I have this one. This is Antiques I Have Known. Um, yeah, I thought this would just be a good size for some mark making and the pages. But then I also got out this book here, which is a soft cover book. And it's bigger. And I think I actually want to do the mark making in this one. So I think we're going to choose this one for our um, week 24 of hashtag Roxy's Weekly Challenge with the mark making. Um, I do have several different kinds of pens here. Um, let's see. Yeah, feels like there's something going on with my lighting, but we'll be okay. Um, so I do have alcohol markers. Uh, just picked out some of my favorite colors. And then I have the Jane Davenport musical markers. Um, and then we just have some acrylic paint markers. And then we have some Crayola Signature, uh, some type of marker. I think they have two different ends on them. Um, so I have those. And then I have these. And these are also Jane Davenport, and they're called Paint Over Pens. Um, so we're just going to be using those today for our mark making. Um, before we get into that, I did want to share... Um, a little bit of stuff with you guys. So, I have been doing some organizing in my craft room and um, getting some things ready uh, or switched around for my sewing studio. Uh, and I came across this book here. And this is a book where I had actually put down some different ideas. Um, and those of you who have been with me for a while know that back last year, um, I had actually started a hashtag shop my stash 2023 and it was a video that posted uh every second and fourth monday of the month during the year of 2023 and then of course i got um you know severely ill first of all i had my surgery but i was up to date on my videos um and then after that you know the catastrophic series of events that happened with my health and subsequently was told I should have died on July 31st of last year. Um, that's what affected my hand and my kidneys. I went into kidney failure and, you know, things I'm still dealing with today. So I had to uh, make the gut-wrenching decision to stop doing the hashtag shop my stash 2023. I ran across this today, guys, and I have actually decided that I am going to start this back up because if you open it up... Um, I actually did my last one for my hashtag shop your stash uh, 2023 on July the 10th. Uh, and that was book page pockets. So I am going to start this back up and I am so excited. Um, let me grab a pen here in case I want to write anything down. Um, but um, yeah, so we're going to start right here um, because I already had my prompts. And what it is, is um, I will give you a prompt at the end of each video, and today I will give you the first prompt um, for the first week where we're starting this back up, uh, and that video and or pictures, whether it's Facebook or Instagram, just please make sure to tag me in it. Uh, we're going to start our first video on July the 22nd. Um, so again, we're starting the hashtag shop your stash. It was 2023, but we're going to go ahead and change it to... Um, Hashtag shop my stash 2024 and our first prompt is going to be a belly band with pocket So make any kind of belly band that you like uh, Just make sure it is a belly band with a pocket post your video or your pictures on July the 22nd uh, And at the end of this video here um, I will give you the prompt for the next video which will be on August the 12th and then the 26th, again, you will post your video on the uh, second and fourth Monday in the month. So, 
um, yeah, I'm really excited. I hope some of you guys will join me. And again, if you don't make videos, that's fine. If you do make videos, please tag me and leave a link to my YouTube channel. Uh, and use the hashtag, hashtag shop my stash 2024. So that means use what you have because that was my goal for last year. And again, is my goal for this year is to use it up. Uh, I think I still have it right here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. No, that was something else. Um, anyway, yeah, my goal for the year is to just use it up. Um, so this is going to be perfect for that. I have all kind of notes over here and can not find the notes on that. But anyway, um, yeah, no notes. But anyway, so we're starting that back up. I would love for you to join me. Uh, again, if you're on YouTube, just... Um, Leave a link to my YouTube channel. Use the hashtag, hashtag shop my stash 2024, and it will start July the 22nd. If you're on Instagram or Facebook, you can also tag me uh, and also use the hashtag, hashtag shop my stash 2024. Again, the first prompt to start this uh, open collaboration back up, hosted by myself, is a belly band with pockets. So, that takes care of that. Now, the next thing is, I also, last year, uh, had a Sackett open collaboration, and it was called Hashtag Crazy Washy Wednesday 2023. So, we are going to start that back up, and I actually had that done through the month of July, so July is already done, so if you want to participate in hashtag Crazy Washy Wednesday, we're going to change it to 2024. So you'll use the hashtag, hashtag Crazy Washy Wednesday 2024. Again, it's an open collaboration hosted by myself, and you will once again use your stash. Don't go out and buy new washi. The whole purpose of these two collaborations was to shop your stash and use what you already have. And on the hashtag... Crazy Washy Wednesday, um, you will post your video on the first Wednesday of every month. So, I will go ahead and give you the prompt. Again, these are prompt-based. Um, for August the 7th, which is the first Wednesday in August, and it is going to be an altered playing card. So, you just take an altered playing card, do it ever how you want to. Um, you can have the whole thing washi as long as you use one piece of washi tape from your stash. Again, if you do YouTube videos, please leave a link to um, my channel in your description box. List me as the host of the open collaboration and use the hashtag, hashtag crazy washi Wednesday 2024. So I am very, very excited about that and starting that up. I mean, I found the book and then when I saw the dates, I'm like... This is the perfect time to start this up. We will just change the end of it to 2024 instead of 2023. So very excited about that. So I have to get on my videos. Um, and then I wanted to do a really quick share. Um, today I got my order in from Rachel over at Roxy Creations. And she is now printing um, her digitals on fabric. Um, so this was a little tag she gave me, and it just says, thank you so much, Rachel. Um, uh, but got these in today, and again, like I said, she is printing, um, her digitals on fabric. They're not in her shop all the time, but it's something she's really, really excited about, and I definitely wanted to, um, support her in there. So as soon as... Uh, the first round I missed, but then I went back over there and looked, and she had listed more. Um, so I actually ordered a pack of the six, and I got them on the linen instead of the cotton. Um, so are these just beautiful, guys? On this beautiful linen. Amazing. This was like an amazing idea of hers. And this one is the portrait style. That would make a beautiful journal cover. Look at that. For a tall, skinny journal. Um, so, I think I had gotten a set of six. Um, I may have gotten two sets. I don't rightfully remember. But aren't those just gorgeous? Oh my gosh. Um, so then, a few days after that, or a day or so after that, she had uh, actually posted a video um, where she was showing 
some that didn't print correctly. So I sent her a message and I'm like, hey, I will take the misprints. <laughs> will you sell them to me? Um, so she looked and added, let me know what she could add to it without changing the shipping. Um, so yeah, so I bought any, even more and she added it to, she just did a custom order for me um, in her shop and sold me some of those, which are going to be absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at that absolutely in love with it and it came so fast I could not believe it just could not believe it I mean every one of these would make beautiful covers or you could use them cut out pieces and do slow stitching um yeah just all kinds of things now we're back to this way yep absolutely beautiful so see how it cut this off so, I'm like, girl, I will take your misprints all day long. All day long. Look at how beautiful. So, I am super excited for her because I have seen how excited she is about these. So, I got those. So, those are pretty much her full digitals um, on the linen. So, that is that. And then I also got the three packs of the little small like journaling card type things about that size or just little strips so we have that strip and then we have this and that I mean wouldn't that just be gorgeous to take embroidery floss and embroider those berries on there absolutely gorgeous but yeah, so I got three packs of these. I think it was the last three packs. And I'm like, oh, I have to have them. So that is that pack. Let's see if we can get it back in here. And then this one. And it looks like she made them all different for me so that I didn't have look at the butterfly that would be beautiful embroidered which is something I'm hoping um, hands and God willing I could get back to because I was doing her um, Roxy's journal of stitchery whenever you know all the health stuff started look at how pretty some of this is on uh, linen and some of it's on cotton so this right here is the cotton and this is the linen. The linen is a lot thicker material than the linen. So we have those that will be fun to play with. Um, but yeah, the more I get my uh, sewing room together and organized, and I have gotten a lot done, guys. Uh, I still have a lot of organizing stuff to do. Um, but I've been doing just a lot of decorating and going to thrift stores and, um, you know, antique shops as well as, um, estate sales, uh, getting up stuff to decorate. And I just found, I need to do a video cause I found some amazing things and I just love how my table is. That's her fussy cut bird kit. Love how things are turning out. God, that's so nice. Um, and there, so I'm hoping um, to get back to doing some uh, stitching projects, embroidery projects, as well as um, more shabby chic, which I haven't done in a really long time. Um, I know I've told you guys before, I had the um, jewelry display case with the glass top. That I purchased at an estate sale. And I shabby chic it up. And now I um, have the shabby chic bug back in me. And I really want to start doing some shabby chic projects. And now that I've gotten my table set up in there. Um, let's see. What are we going to use first? I'm just going to 
jap my jaws and do mark making. Um, but since I've got my table up in there, I'm decorating and making it all pretty and um, displaying my milk glass and all of that in there. So, and this is just mark making. So you can make any kind of mark you want. Oh, I know what else she did. Give me just a second. Yeah, because that is trying to bleed through a little bit. Let me grab something to go under there, maybe. Just right over here. It might take me a moment to dig. Here we go. Didn't have to dig too far. We'll use this. She just put something on there so it wouldn't bleed on to the next page. Um, but just do your mark making, any kind of marks that you want. And then, when you want to use it, you can just go to your book and tear out either a piece or the whole page and use it. Um, so yeah, back to my, calling it my shabby chic sewing studio. It's all creams, antique colors, whites, and pinks. Um, but yeah, I found lots of goodies, and I may do that video after this one, um, to sit on my filming table. I do have an extra filming arm. Uh, so now everything, I just gotta locate it. I know I have it. It's in there somewhere. We won't talk about the closet in there, but, um, yeah, just find my filming arm and I'm gonna do all of my shabby chic projects in there because that's where all my laces are, which I still need to organize. Um, I have refurbished a lot of item items either by, um, spray painting them white or using white chalk paint um, to decorate. And it is coming together so good. Um, got lots of things, decorations that still need to be hung on the wall in there. So um, I don't really like putting holes in my walls. I haven't. I've put very few holes in the walls in this house since we bought it in 2006. Uh, I like to use the command strips. Um, but some of the stuff I have is kind of heavy. Um, and especially if it's something that I'm going to be putting over, you know, say a, my antique dresser in there or something that has my milk glass on it. I don't want it falling off the wall and breaking my milk glass. So, all right. So, ta-da. There's page one. So, then you just turn it over and go to your next page. And decide your colors and figure out what you're going to do. Let's see, what are we going to do? I kind of like this color. Let's see what ends we have. We have, oh, that's a teeny tiny end. And then this is actually more of like a brush tip. Um, let's see what we can do here. Let's just do like these kind of lines. But you can do any kind of mark making that you want. You can do boxes, you can do circles, you can do squares, you can do the other lines we did, just these squiggly lines that we're doing. Um, you can draw leaves or vines or trees or, you know, pretty much anything. It's just mark making. Have something to collage with or <clears throat> put behind something on a uh, tag or something that you're making. But yeah, getting really, really excited about my sewing, Shabby Chic sewing studio and how it's coming together. Just makes me happy to go in there and work in there a little bit and um, painted some more stuff today. My sister had actually gotten me a vintage uh, wooden thread spool holder that hangs on the wall. So I actually chalk painted it white today. Um, so she is all dry. I just, I need to get her over here is what I need to do because she is an excellent, um, interior decorator. She always has been. Um, I mean, she could take two twigs and put it together and make it look like a million bucks. I think I've said that before. Uh, whereas me, you could give me a million dollars and I would decorate something it'd still look like crap, but... She has a natural talent 
for that. So I need to get her over here. I think she's coming for coffee Wednesday because I'm off on Wednesday. It is Monday the 17th when I'm filming. Uh, I do work the closing shift tomorrow. But I'm off on Wednesday. And she doesn't go into her job until 4. Those look like Z's, don't they? Um, until 4. So she said something about coffee. So probably just going to have her step in there and maybe give me some ideas of placement because it's all just pretty much sitting around everywhere. So there's another page. So then we'll just go to our next page. And we have a tree on there, but I'm okay with that. We could go around the tree and leave the tree alone. What color do we want? Let's do... This is the Jane Davenport Musical Markers. You do have to shake them. Um, I think this is acrylic paint, if I'm not mistaken. Not positive, but I think we're going to do some circles. Um, yeah, but I have of my sp space. This is brand new. I haven't even activated it yet. Um, but yeah, I'm getting really excited about my space in there. It's coming together so good. Okay, here we go. So here we'll just do some circles. I hope you're all doing well today. It is so hot here. Um, I think my husband said today it was like 89, but the heat index was like 96. It is so humid. It's crazy. Crazy hot. I did that little bit of painting um, on that thread spool holder on the front porch and then walked up and checked the mail and I'm like, okay, this is all I got for the outside today. <laughs> so, couldn't take it. I knew it was hot. I did not realize it was, you know, felt like 96 out there. Gotta love the humidity in Georgia. So, um, Upcoming projects. I hope you guys will join me for the two open collaborations that I'm hosting. Um, I would love for you to and love to see what you do. Um, my Just an update. My Marguerite Miller will post on the 26th. I am now because those videos were so short. Seriously, some of them were less than 10 minutes. Because essentially, I have everything ready on those videos, and all we had to do was just glue it down. So since the videos were so short, I decided to do my uh, CW Planner by Marguerite Miller um, collage uh, the last Wednesday of every month from now to the end of the year. And I will be doing four at a time. Um, on that day, like I said, it's pretty much gluing it down, so they're still barely over. I think I've, well, I've already got it ready for the 26th, and I think it was just over 30 minutes. Um, I'm also doing my hashtag love a little channel, and I believe that was started by Carol at Crinkle Path. Um, so you guys go and check her out. And in that Marguerite Miller CW collage, I do just... One week at a time, and every week that we do, so for every page, I was going to skip that, I forgot. Um, every page that we do, I started out with my hashtag love a little channel, so you'll see one video. It will be four weeks worth of the Marguerite Miller uh, CW collage, and four hashtag love a little channels. Um, and, of course, all of Marguerite's information, as well as my hashtag love a little channel, will be listed. Links in the description box. So, there are some circles. Yay, pink circles. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong with pink. Anyway. Okay, so now let's see what... 
want to do something different. Let's do... This is green. It is green. Let's do like... Some flowers. Or some leaves. Those would probably be pretty. Ooh. I think my husband's in there. Could get him some dinner while I'm in here playing. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Uh, work is going good, feeling really good today. They did um, extend my antibiotics because week before last, I was actually back in the hospital for three days with um, complications from diverticulitis. Um, I do have to follow up with a surgeon, so I have to call back tomorrow to try to get that appointment because they have yet to call me. I tell you, it's hard getting doctor's appointments sometimes. So, um did set myself a reminder because I have carrot brain to remind me I can't do leaves. I think I get too impatient and get too fast. And then they don't even look like leaves. Poor little things. But anyway. Um... But yeah, feeling really good. I've had a really good day today. I was off today and got some things accomplished. But, I mean, guys, it's almost 8 o'clock and this is my first video and I've had all day to do videos. So, it's been a wee bit sidetracked today. But that's okay. Okay. So, we want to do another one at... Maybe a bigger one here. But yeah, just do some mark making of any kind. That is all this is about. And I love the idea of just putting it in a book. Um, so that you could just tear out the pages. Go ahead and color in some of these, I think. Um, but yeah, just have it ready for when you want to use it. It's very relaxing, actually. Doing these. Hopefully, I won't sit here and fall asleep. Oh, guys, I'm watching a really good movie, if you hadn't seen it. So, it is um, called The Chosen. And it's um, the story of Jesus. And there is a Chosen app you can download. Um, but they are uh, streaming it live or showing it live right now, season four. It's in its fourth season. I watched the other seasons. I think I came across it on Facebook. I mean on YouTube. But they only had so many seasons on there. So I did download the Chosen app. Where I watched the third season. I think they have seasons one and two on YouTube. And then seasons three. I think you have to watch through the app. And then season four. I believe it was in February actually came out in the theaters and now they have started playing the different episodes of season four um live on youtube and i watched the i think it was the fourth episode last night uh, now the third episode the one before last night was heart-wrenching you'd say the least but Again, it's just telling the story of Jesus and 
his disciples and his ministry. And from my understanding from here on out, it's going to be something that's going to be harder and harder to watch because it goes all the way up to his crucifixion. And I don't know if this makes any sense. It may not because, I mean, it's me we're talking about after all. But, you know, for a time, Jesus was a, a man, you know, a human just like us. And, you know, he had some of the same um, struggles as we did, yet he never sinned. And, um, anyway, um... But to me, it's like seeing this, because I've never actually watched like a Jesus movie or the story of Jesus or anything like show or, you know, movie <clears throat> until now. And the first episode, I was hooked because this is the part, like I said, that I'm fixing to say if I would get to the point. Um that I don't know if it resonates or makes sense to anyone else. But it's like seeing this uh, made Jesus more real to me. You know, even though I know he's real and I believe in him. And, you know, those of you who know my story know that, you know, my testimony and that I, uh, in the midst of my pain, actually was with our Lord and Savior. Spent some time with him and... I try to tell everyone I can, you know, my testimony of my time spent with him because I do believe that is why he, um, you know, allowed me to stay here instead of taking me home like I asked him to, which is what I asked him to do. Um, because at that time I was in the midst of the worst pain I had ever experienced in my life and, you know, had just told him I was exhausted and I couldn't do it anymore that I had no more fight left in me and just told him to take me home and as soon as I said home um my pain went away so um you know that was my experience but it's just crazy to me and it's like I told my husband after that experience and I started coming to and waking up because I was you know, I don't know. But when I started coming to and all, you know, I just told my husband, you know, I just woke up different. That's the only way I can describe it. Um, it's like I'm more compassionate, more um, toward people, more understanding, more forgiving. Even though I always did my best prior to then to be that person. Um because I have, you know, been a Christian my whole life. Um, lost my way for many, many years. Um, and then found my way back to him. Thanks to my executive pastor at my church. Who actually used to be a <laughs> bagger for me when he was 15. And now he's in his mid-30s. Um, at the major grocery retailer where I work. Um... But yeah, to me, The Chosen, watching that just, and, and just, I guess it just realizing that for a time he was a man, human, that walked the earth just like we do, um, felt pain and fear, I'm sure, and, you know, was hungry and needed to eat and needed to sleep and was tired and... You know, he was just like us. Just made him all the more real to me. Um, but that's just a movie or slow show, whatever you want to call it, uh, recommendation that I have. If you are not familiar, um, yeah, absolutely love it. I think the next one airs on, oh shucks, when they say this Thursday the 20th. Uh, and you guys will see this by the end. So you will be able to check that on YouTube. Just search The Chosen and watch it, subscribe, like, all that good stuff. Or you can download the 
chosen app and watch it from there. But I highly, highly recommend The Chosen. So I think this will be our last page that we'll do. But yeah, just do any type of, yeah, because we're already at 34 minutes. Just do any kind of mark making that you want on your paper in a book. It could be loose paper if you want to do that. But then you will have it ready and could just tear pages from it. Yep, this is so relaxing. It wants me to, or it makes me feel like I need to be quiet when I'm doing it. This is so relaxing. To me, coloring and drawing and painting is very relaxing anyway. Get it on my hand. Make sure I don't get it on my sleeves. And, of course, Rachel's was much, much prettier than mine, like always. But, anyway, you get the gist. So, we are going to, yeah, I got it everywhere. So, we're going to go ahead and stop there for our um, Week 24 Hashtag Roxy's Weekly Challenge. And this is mark making. Make any kind of marks that you want um, on pages. And then, this is pretty thick, too, so I like that. And then, you could tear out the whole page fold it, have it as a page in your book. Um, this one didn't bleed through at all. This one didn't. So it looks like the alcohol markers are what bled through. So just keep that in mind and get you a little something to stick on there uh, until you know what it's going to do. But I may sit here and just do some more of this after I get my video to uploading. So there's that. Um, please join me in my two open collaborations. Uh, again, it is the hashtag Crazy Washy Wednesday, and that will not start up until August the 7th. It will post every Wednesday, or the first Wednesday of the month, and for August the 7th, it is Altered Playing Cards. Just make sure you use at least one piece of washi, and you want to shop your stash, use your stash, don't buy anything. And then our hashtag Shop My Stash 2024 um, it will start up, let's see, these are posted the second and fourth Monday of each month for the rest of this year. Um, and the next one is going to be July 22nd, and it is a belly band with pockets. And then on the 22nd, I will reveal the prompt for the next one, which will be on August the 12th. So yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. Thank you all so, so much for your support. Um, just a quick note, you know, I've already told you I'm feeling really good, doing really good right now, doing 10 more rounds of antibiotics, so hopefully that will help get this diverticulitis kicked out of here. Mom is doing really well in healing, um, but if you will still continue to pray for the both of us, I would really, really appreciate it. All right, I love you guys so much. Thank you, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.